Uh, what's up, YouTube? It's Grio Gyro, whatever you want to call me. Uh, I got no gang members with me uh, today. And I know you, you guys have not seen my face in a while. And there's been a whole bunch of reasons behind that. Um, I figure that a lot of people know who my number one go-to guy is, who my best friend is, a lot of things. And this video is not made to bash his name or none of that. I don't really care about it. If y'all take it in that way or in that manner, that's how y'all take it. But the information that I haven't said on my YouTube channel or anything, and I haven't posted on this channel for a reason, is because everything that I, you know, created, like the Grio, Grio gang, and we got our merch in as well. Everything that I created or everything that I worked so hard for, that's now went into pieces and i'm not putting all that blame on trey but i gotta put that blame on trey so i'm just gonna let you guys know what all happened in between the situation between me trey the rest of the gang members and what i'm going to do next now i've been really thinking about you know leaving this youtube channel a lot uh just trying to like just let it be just let it just sit and dry out because i don't know what to post now um about the thing about like the reasonings and stuff like that i like making money okay i'm gonna be honest I, I like making money i'm motivated by making money and money does not take any control of my brain of nothing i like i'm not addicted to money none of that sort i just like having money i like being able to buy what i want to buy and i like a lot of things so trey as in being my best friend i want to help him be able to do the same thing i can do um let alone our futures and stuff like that because me and trey had a whole future planned out for our careers or how we were going to work out certain things and then that all went to pieces just about last week and it's really crazy that you can put so much trust into somebody you can give them whatever that they need to do to succeed try to help them with your heart and they still fold on you okay and that's basically what happened um i let trey get over about i don't know i trusted trey with about in my lifetime probably about seven grand like he has seen me i probably gave him about seven grand in total in money in my lifetime but i known trey for almost five years so, I mean, that money is like nothing to me. That's money that I had for my parents, whatever. But this year is the year that I actually started holding my own ground and being able to pay and support this car, uh, all the videos, all my expenses, everything, okay? And I've been able to keep that on my own. And so me also having trades back whenever he needs something, I got him. You, you're hungry i got you it's just it's just like money added over time that i have give, given to trey within the past five years and then within this year in general uh basically the story of what happened is that i trust this trey with a lot of product uh about two thousand two hundred dollars in that product and to end the story off like that he actually i gave it to him so he could flip it make money off of it and give me the money that i needed because of the mess up he had before and i'm not bashing trey and i know he's gonna watch this video but the money that i had before he lost me about say about 900 dollars at the first start of it and what he did is he just smoked his life away basically he smoked weed every day with all my money or with all my product in his car. Next thing you know, cops get him over. Cops take all my shit, all my stuff out his car. And that I was begging for Trey to give me my own stuff and he would not do it. And then the cops randomly on the day he was going to give me my stuff, the cops randomly took it out of his car. And that was that. And then... So I decided I'm going to let Trey get another shot. I'm going to let you improve yourself. So I spend about, I spend a good amount of money. I give him about $2,200 worth of product, basically. I can't say the word because I'm not eligible to say the word, but I give him about $2,200 uh, in product and stuff like that. He gives me about 
300 in return and next you know the red the other 1900 is gone didn't get not a drop of it so i decided to call trey i'm blowing up his phone hey where's my stuff where's my stuff where's my stuff and uh and the product is not weed number one so he blowing up my phone blowing up my, I, i'm blowing up his phone actually and then next thing you know trey blocks me so that's where it crossed the line that he had the audacity to block my number um and not talk to me and then the next morning you know he writes a paragraph saying he's sorry this that and i still do not know the full story of this i'm getting different different angles of the story so i can't really tell you guys what actually happened with trey but everybody wants me to go fight trey everybody wants me to go kill trey i'm not doing any of that i'm not that type of person that i would rather kill somebody that i had a whole five years with over some damn money uh actually i made about i made about 1500 this total week because i was mad uh that i didn't get all that money from trey so i just made the money back that i had to just because out of out of me being furious at him but the thing is with my career and with everything that i got going on in life and everything that i'm working so hard for can have the big the biggest control over my best friend and he decides to take all my money whatever smoke smoke his life away smoke weed every day hang out with the wrong people i can't control that and me not being able to control something like that and he has a big impact on my future i had to get him out of my life it's just that that simple I, I will not be best friends with trey anymore i will not try to talk to trey anymore it's just that because i can't control my own future if i let trey have the hands of it but that alone being said i'm most likely gonna go solo and everything uh speaking about my game members um trey had a big part of, uh with them um so while I was playing 2K, I had a 2K grind on my other channel. If you guys want to check that out, check the link below. I had a big old 2K grind on my other channel. And I didn't, I wasn't used to like, I wasn't talking to any of my game members at the time. I was giving them two weeks and then two weeks, we're going to get back to videoing, back to recording all that. And um, what had happened then is he, we, he, he had the people with him. He had my gang members with him and he was just constantly smoking that's what i know of by them by them telling me not saying y'all are snitches mason jacob you know i love y'all um but i guess he was out smoking his life away selling weed whatever this is all the information that i got from my own people so i can't i don't really know what to do with it but i can just say that they weren't lying i know they weren't lying because they wouldn't just lie for no reason and him out here selling weed smoking and you know they all get caught and parents start to come in parents start to come in rushing and now one of my friends mom doesn't like me or trey and i wasn't with none of them at the time so that hits a big impact on my gang members and everything that i had planned for them and everything that i had to take over this year with them that ends them plans because now i gotta gain trust with his mom back again um and I don't know how it's gonna work out of me gotta get, I gotta get a new trusted person. And my closest trusted person is most likely D at this time uh, about with my videos and things like that. And I know D's not gonna carry the weight like that has, Trey has been. It's gonna be hard for me to do that. So it's either I got two, two things to do. Redesign my YouTube channel once again, hurt my views even more. I'll probably be pulling probably about a hundred at that time or i just gotta put trust into somebody else and just the fact that i known trey for over five years gave him so much money i cannot put trust in nobody else so that's where it goes to take the step into my own youtube channel so basically i guess i don't know yet what i'm going to be doing with this youtube channel is to just be a full-on entrepreneur show people what i'm doing show people how i make money show people how i can afford this thing show people i mean everything in general with finances and things like that because that's what i'm skilled with that's what i'm i'm probably here to do is to show people and teach people and encourage people to not work a damn nine to five i guess that's what i'm here for 
because a lot of things in my life like as in the griot gang i don't think that those type of videos were the videos i should be posting sometimes it would be sexualizing content for views and shit like that i don't want to be that type of person okay i'm a grown man i need to know what i need to be doing soon because i am a senior this year i don't even i don't even know and i'm a bit confused here because and i even got even more confused when i realized my cameraman is no longer going to be here with me during my success and i'm just gonna let you guys know i am going to succeed i don't care if i have myself only in my life i'm going to succeed i'm going to know what to do and i'm definitely going to be you doing this youtube stuff full time so just getting into me making money me doing a lot of things in general i'm just trying to be the best i can be i just want god to just give me the best potential i can be let me in on what to do and just things like that because me trusting another person with that kind of money with all that trust knowing that i'm going to get something back and then i get stabbed in the back it's a hard thing to go through i mean let alone that all those videos that i made with trey he has a big impact on my success okay there was some times that I didn't know what to do. It would just be me and Trey. And then somehow we will find out how to make a banger video of that. So wrapping this video up, um, I don't know what to tell y'all. So I got, I got messed over. I can't do nothing about it now. I can only move past that fact. I'm not going to be hurting Trey and I'm not going to be killing Trey. I just had to let y'all in on this. I'm not no bitch for that. I'm definitely not no bitch for letting somebody else do that to me. I had no control over it. That's what y'all gotta understand. And half the time, if y'all's number one best friend did that to y'all, y'all would just take them right back, okay? Cause I'm not no bite. I'm just gonna exclude you out of my life. I'm not gonna do nothing to you. I got too much to live for to hurt another human being because of what he did to me, okay? I got a lot more past that. I make a lot more money now. Who gives a damn about about that kind of money, okay? I make that back in an instant. I'm not no broke boy, number one. I know how to make my own money. I can show you however much money you want me to show you. And you can see that Trey did not have that much of an impact on my pockets, but he had that much on an impact on my YouTube channel and my trust for him. So wrapping up this video, this Grio, Garo, whatever you want to call me. And remember, to always stay true to yourself, before you say true to anybody else, and I'm on game, coach. Goodbye.